What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. We are moving on. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. What, what did they expand, I wonder? Let's see. Ah, what did I say? Classic Rally. These are Group B monsters, dude. This would be great for this. Ah, oh, the Ford RS200. You guys know I love the sound of that turbo. Thing is a monster. But this is a Lancia Delta. We already own one of these. These things are rare. MG Metro. Oh, yeah. This was a barn find. I think in the DLC. The Peugeot 205 TI6. T16, sorry. T16, whatever. Um, I, I think I got to pick either the Quattro or this. And I think I've always loved the... You guys remember how orgasmic the... Uh, the RS200 was. So I think I might have to pick it. And maybe just mod it a little bit. It's already an S1. Like, look at the launch on that. I know, like, this appears better. In every way. But when we tune it. And it will save a bit of money. So I'm going to go with the Ford. And I'm going to, like, it makes, this one makes probably one of the best turbo flutter noises I've ever heard in my life. However, now, I'm curious. There's, they don't have them. I kind of like that though. It makes sense, and it's it's already custom. It's been lowered. It makes sense, but the thing is though, you can get where's the special colors? Because there's like I saw like a Ford Racing one in the last with the blue stripes. If you're gonna do it, you might as well go blue because that's like Ford blue. But I'd want, like, a stripe, you know? It is a racing car, though. I'm gonna go with that. It makes sense. I'm actually gonna use it. Alright, let's go ahead and buy it. That's gonna take most of my money. But, I, but it doesn't need to get tuned that much. That's the thing. It doesn't need to be tuned that much. But it's, it's rare, and it's on sale, so I bought it. It looks pretty good. Are you going to let me do my thing? Let me do my thing. That's plenty of money to get it upgraded. I'm going to have some fun with this. Now, I remember I put like a V8 in it, which was the stupidest thing. I'm not going to do that this time. But we want good launch, like just simple stuff like this is really going to make a difference. It's going to become an S2, guys. I remember I actually bought, oh, our launch is going to take a hit, but we need top speed too. Because what, it's a 2 liter in this. With a massive turbo. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. What am I doing? What am I on? What is it? I already got the exhaust. The cams. I don't know what I went... Was it the valves? No. It's got displacement? No. It's got to be the pistons then. Yeah, it was. Okay, we'll, we'll get this instead. Let's just make sure that's been replaced. Okay, good. Single. See, this is might be where it's good for us. An even bigger turbo. I think. I think that's a good idea. Like, look at the gains. Like, that's when the turbo kicks in. Look at that. <laughs> that's amazing. All right. Uh, we lose a bit in the handling by a little bit, but I think it's worth the gains. So I'm going to go with that. New intercooler. We're going to take a bit of a hit on the braking and the handling. But we'll improve that with some aero. That'll definitely help. Bigger brakes for sure. Wow, look at that. that the sport brakes actually hurt it. Chassis re reinforcement. We need better handling, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bit of a hit, but the weight reduction is gonna improve that. It just basically resets that whole thing. Wait, did we put it? I can't remember if we put a V8 in it. It was just stupid. Oh my god, you might as well. It's the most expensive, but YOLO, right? Definitely getting that braking going. Race diff for a bit of two-way modification. This we want rally tires for sure. We actually lose a bit of grip. 
But that is just pointless. We're going off road, so obviously. Oh my god, look how wide these are. We're gonna get some serious traction. The rim style, I'm fine with these Ford rims. There's no point in getting anything else. Oh, right, okay. Ride height. Oh, wait a minute, what about suspension? Did I get the suspension already? You probably can't adjust suspension. No, you can't. It's going to be rally rims and everything. All right, how about the arrow? Probably going to give you like... Actually, I don't think I want that. It doesn't really make that much... I mean, it does. It gives your handling a boost. Maybe we will get it, actually. Let's do it. Now, this makes sense to get a big wing. Little bit one on top. All that does is like, it's a lip spoiler. Give you a little bit more downforce. Do I want it though? What's it going to do? It boosts our braking to a 9.9. .9, but our top speed takes a hit. So I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to go with the stock. Alright, now these conversions. I don't think an engine swap is a good idea. You're not going to put a 6.2 liter V8 in a rally legend like this. So that's not happening. And we're not making it rear wheel drive. That is just stupid. Just stupid. Look at all the drop. That's stupid. I think that's what we want. Let's do it. This thing is going to be a beast. And I can't wait to get this thing on the track. Or not on the track. Off the track. In the outback. Love it. Looks so good. Let's take a look at it with Forza Vista. Actually, one thing I might do... It's a rally car, so you can have some fun with the colors. Oh. No. Never mind, I'll leave it. That's why I can't do anything with it. Alright, that's fine. I was going to make it like maybe a blue rims or something. And normally I don't like that kind of stuff. As I'm sure you guys know, but... That is it. And it's playground is in the back. Right, let's give it a rotation. I kind of like that view too. I'll pick my favorite. I'm ready though. It's going to be a good time. Alright, so I guess we're pretty much ready to go then. And I think one of the first things we're going to go do is... Uh, I'm actually really hey, excited Dan. for this. A lot of people are talking about this driver. I think they'd be perfect for your lineup. Oh, wait a minute. I already I marked him. I that said there's somewhere in this area. Alright, alright. First thing I'd like to... Ow. Ow. On my lip. Sorry, there's like a cut on the inside of my lip. It, ow. Sometimes it hurts to talk. Anyway. I want to go get this barn fight because we're over here, but it's going to be so much fun to drive this RS200. Yeah, just go there, even though I've already done it. This car makes probably one of the best turbo flutters I've ever heard in my life. Let's see if we can get it to go. Oh, it's there a little bit. It's hard to hear, but listen. Oh my god. I love that with such a passion. It's just brrr, you know, just I love that sound. Meters. Turn sharp left. I'm excited to see what what ne what's next for the ball. Oh god. Turn sharp left. Where we're we going? We don't need roads, dude. This is like 1985 all over again. With the group B monsters. Can you imagine how exciting it would have been to see one of those like rallies up oh. Up close. Oh! And I'm all about that rally racing. You guys know that. Alright, now this I think might be a, not a bad barn find to get. It might not be that hard to find anything. Because it's very open. Like, look at how open this place is. Wait a minute, she actually... She actually pointed it out for me. Literally. That's kind of odd. I didn't think they'd do that. Now, what do we have under this thing? Or in this thing? Best part of my job, right here. Oh, it's an old, old Toyota Land Cruiser. Old Land Cruiser. Nice. You can't kill a Land Cruiser. They kept bringing out new models, but they really shouldn't have bothered. All the ones from the 70s are still running fine. They really are. Toyota vehicles are, like, especially old trucks and SUVs are, like, almost impossible to kill. 
All right, the FJ40. I'll still take the Landy back to the garage. Give it a once over. I'll let you know when you can have it. Thanks, mate. All right. Now, the next thing on the agenda, I obviously have tons of events here to do. This one's the closest, so I say let's go here. Oh, I love that. Wheel spin. I need a wheel spin. Where's my wheel spin? I need to start, right? Where are we at? Rivals. No progress. That's what's under. There it is. Impreza 2-2. Two, two. I don't really need that, though. All right, so 30,000. I'll take it. All that is is just more money for mods, dude. That's what that is. Woohoo! These are going to be some fun races, man. They really are. Wait a minute. This is shit, we're two wheeling across the outback. 200 meters. Turn left. The RS 200's uh, natural stomping grounds are right here. What is this? Ow! We have ourselves. Whoa! Is that a rolls? What? Is that a drop head? What is a drop head doing out here? What on earth? A Rolls Royce. I think that's the Phantom drop head, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, the Rolls Royce Dawn. My bad, it's the replacement to the drop head. What is that doing out here? Oh well, I'll take it. Let's go! This thing is gonna be like taking a canoe. In 100 meters, turn right. Oh, I turned right too soon. We're cutting, we're cutting. Now this is considered an easy thing, and what I'm doing right now is probably the most improper way to drive a uh, Rolls Royce, you know, possible. In existence. We have a six minute drive to get there and I'm gonna enjoy it. Hold on guys. Let's turn this off so we don't get the uh, copyright music cheese. Oh God! In 400 meters, bare left. This is how you're supposed to drive this car. You know, very, very net, like, very Deep calmly. Left. Fairly, I mean, we're going pretty quick. But Rolls Royces are meant to take you there in luxury and in style. In amazing comfort. Oh, man. And that's, again, disrespectful. Just breaking the rolls. Although I have to admit, I am not very comfortable. Picked up some sort of a illness. So I'm not feeling too great right now, if I'm honest. And we died. Oh! Use the river. Oh, come on, man. What? No, what is going on? Go! I don't know why we didn't just do that. I mean, there's no checkpoint system. So let's just do stuff that we would never do in real life and take a Rolls Royce off roading in the Outback. That's what I love. People get mad at, uh, like, whenever you play, like, a racing game or a car game for wh or whatever kind of, you know, involving vehicles, and you do something to the car, like, mod a car in a certain manner or drive a car a certain way, there are always people who say, oh, my God, that's disrespectful. You're not a true petrol head because you're driving a car or you're modding a car in a certain way. That's just, you're not a car person. You don't know anything. Like, no. A video game is meant to take things you would normally never be able to do and make it into reality. Obviously, in real life, I would never do this to a Rolls Royce. No shit, Sherlock. But it's a game. No repercussions, man. It's all about just having fun. You know, doing, just having a good time with your, with whatever and whatever you want to do. That's what video games are all about. And anybody who tells you differently and tells you, oh, play it this way or do it this way or you're an idiot for this or whatever doesn't know anything about video games or the slightest bit about it that's my opinion I mean if you want to go ahead and put a big old V8 in a Volkswagen Golf in a video game by all means put a big old V8 in a Volkswagen Golf normally no one would do that although I'm sure someone has done that in real life but you know what I mean have some fun hell and if, even if you don't like what you've done you can undo it it's because of it's because it's a goddamn video game Take the first exit. God, it's so funny. People gave me criticism for that 
Actually, uh, some of it was criticism. Some of it was not. Uh, actually, I'd like to say most of it was not. For completely modding, the uh, if you guys remember Need for Speed, I got the E46 M3 GTR. And I completely just changed so much stuff to it. And they're like, oh, you're disrespecting the build. It was a legendary car. and then you're It's a game. I can reset the settings. I don't understand because I wanted to have a bit more fun in a game that promotes modding cars, mind you. I don't know. I just don't understand people's thought process, you know? I don't want to be conservative in a video game. That's what real life is for, conservative conservation, if you will. So let's have some fun. Alright, we made there with plenty of time to spare. And we got number 30. So we got the barn find, and we got number 30. Drop in the bucket. What is that all about? Five bucket list challenges are done. I like it. Getting more money. How about the fans? Usually we get pretty good fans. Almost to level 18. Still got a lot of work to do in order to get to the next festival expansion. All right, so let's go ahead and pick our next event, and I'm gonna do this one. It's already marked anyway, so let's go hit it up. In 200 meters, turn right. Ah, we have yet another barn find rumor. You're out driving and seeing old tumble down barn, mate. Better stop and have a look. A little bird told me there's a classic car hidden in there. That it's kind of down the way. It's in that next section. We will make our way down there. I might actually save that for the next video. But we'll see how things go. Oh, it's a speed trap. Oh, that was no good. I can do better than that. Two kilometers during one more. Oh, I don't have. Okay. Let's go right to the start of this. A big old straightaway. Because look how fast this baby's going. Not meaning to sound morbid, boss, but this is your festival. I think you should have your own bucket list. Let's go. All right, RS, let's do it. Woo, here we go. I want to see that top speed, baby. I want to see you push that threshold. And I'm, of course, talking about myself. Oh, my goodness. 305, that's got to be a trip star. Oh, it's not. How many more do I need? Drifting! Well, that was pretty dramatic, but it wasn't enough. I'm actually so shocked. Come on, baby. This thing, it's not meant for top speed, but... I can't believe we didn't get that three star. Not gonna be enough. Well, we got 305. That is more than last time. How we do? No. 16, look. That's top speed. So no, it's not possible with this car. We don't have enough top speed. Well, we have six points. I gotta get to spending, dude. 20% more. The push your luck experience boost right here. I can get all of these. You know what? I'm going to do it. Experience boost. One of those here and now experience boosts. Here and now experience boost. And I think I might take... Oh, lucky hit. All right. So I'm pretty much out. So... Uh... Help you find... I don't know what I really want, if I'm honest. Maybe some money? Why not? Get that. I don't want to level up too fast. That's the thing. I don't want to level up too quick. Well, I did level up. Ooh, you can get a Jag XKRS. Oh, no. That's, that's Annihilation. I'm sorry. That's a guy on my friends list. Dude's probably like 40 years old by now. <laughs> the last time I played with... Oh! I get a couple of spins. 35. Oh, nice. All right. Give me those credits. 
Sorry, buddy. All right, let's see. What's in our vicinity that we can go check out? We've already done the exhibition here, but there is a championship. Let's go do the PR stunt. In 200 meters, keep left. Probably going to need a real big boost keep of speed. Left. You have arrived at your destination. Oh, it's another bucket list. Ah, it's a LaFerrari. Whoa, I almost wrecked it. All right, let's do it. So we got ourselves a barn find and two bucket lists in this one. Bucket list 24 and 30. Place through the Outback at High Noon in the LaFerrari. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. I am actually really excited to be driving this car right now. Come on, baby! Yes! Oh my god! You have to keep that thing maxed pretty much the whole damn way. Woo! Mini boss, baby. Reached level 20. So I leveled up with that one. That was a big one. That thing has a top speed of like 300 and... What was it? 79 kph, I think? That's insane! Or GT Horizon Edition. That'd be a good car to get. Oh, no, don't cheese me with the 7,000. You gotta give me the 75, dude. And you get Horizon Events credits boost for it, too, when you do it. Anyway. Another bucket list done. Come down and visit. Got that Land Cruiser restored for you. And we got the Land Cruiser done. So we can go check that out whenever we get a chance. Okie dokie 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 rokey pokey. As they say in the horizon. They don't say that. I'm sorry. Anyway. Uh, nearby. We're still doing alright. Uh, there's an undiscovered route over here. We haven't done a race yet. With my RS. Which I have to do, man. I think this needs to happen. Alright. We actually can do a championship. Let's roll with the champs. Because. Oh, wait. Heavy hitters. No. Screw that. There we go. That's better. This is actually... Oh, right. I forgot. I got... I I, 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 I unlocked the Lancia 30, 037 Stradale. But, you know we got to go with our RS200 Evo. This thing is going to have to beast and feast. I can't wait to actually use this in a legit race. It handles like a dream. It, it I just remember this being just the ultimate rally car. I just loved it so much. Got an MG Metro, I believe, in there. There's definitely an Audi Quattro. Let's take a gander at the starting grid. 
So yeah, Metro, oh, M6, M MG Metro, yeah, so I was right, 6R4 though. Opal Manta, so the Quattro as well, another RS200. So it looks like you got yourself the MG, the Opal, the Audi, and the Ford. All right, let's start it up, I'm ready guys. Good start, good start. I can definitely feel that one. The Quattro is going to have the launch and the all-wheel drive handling, but we won't let that scare us. Oh, that was a nice one. I missed it. <coughs> They're not going to be too appreciative of that. There we go. We got three laps total, so we can make up some of this, this gap. Back on the tarmac. This is rally cross right now. I don't know why I braked there. That was kind of a wasted brake. Too much drip for the rally. What's going on, bruh? You gotta get back on the power. There you go, making my way back. Got that fifth place. Oh! Hard on the brakes. No drifting. Nice dab of brake there. Ram into the MG. Coming on the inside. Got three more positions to make up. I think we can do that. Just give me a bit of time. Dab of brake. Hard on the brakes. Back on the power to get on the tarmac. We're going to have to take some dastardly turns. That was not one of them. Can we cheese? I don't think that was a very effective. That was an amazing overtake. Still got some work to do though, two places. We have a podium, but you know me, I don't settle for podium. We got the silver spot. Gonna ram out the Quattro. Went a little wide, a little wide. I gotta redo that turn. I'm not happy with that turn at all. Gotta break a little bit more than that. Actually quite a bit more than that. Back on the brake, on the brake, on the brake, on the brake. Back on the power. That Quattro got in my way, move. Trying to split the two. They're ruining my line. Rammed into the MG. Still in good shape, keeping them in the rear. Nice drift, nice drift, power through. Dab. Didn't take the line very well, hard on brakes. Back on power, boom, 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 go, go, go. Hard brake. Little coast, accelerate out. Not bad. MG's like riding me, he's right on my trumpet. Right there, here come the Quattro. Keeping him at bay. No, 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 this one is mine, ladies. This one's mine, hit that apex. And across the line, first place. Woo! That was a good one. That was nice and close. Gotta get a feel for my baby once again, it's been well, a couple of years, three years to be exact, Forza Horizon 2 came out in 2013, or 14, was it 14? I actually don't remember. I, I want to say 13 for some, no, it was 14. Yes, because Xbox One, this wasn't a launch title. Give me that boost. A little bit of boost. Still need a few more fans, quite a bit of fans. They're making you work for this next one. That's what championships come in for. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, guys, I picked up some sort of illness. So there's a championship event there. Don't really want it. I think I might head out here. I'm curious to see what this is. If I'm honest, if it's another bucket list, I think I might save it for another video. It very well could be a bucket list. Let's find out in a moment. It is. Bucket list 29. What is it? That looks like a Holden. Is that a Holden? No. Yes. Should we do it? You know what? Let's do it. Achieve a picture poet moment in the Holden GTS 14. It's essentially the same thing as that Chevy uh, Malibu Supersport. 
All right, all right. Auss Aussie power. Turn this crap meters. off. Turn left. Turn left. Hard on the brakes. This one's considered easy. Race to the danger sign and smash what? And smash the distance. To oh, oh, we gotta jump it. It's a launch. Not exactly a big rally thing, this. 400 meters. Turn right. Hard on brakes. We got lots of time. Oh my god, what is that, man? Come on, burnout. Let's go. Turn right. I'm going to stick to the track. Recalculating route in 100 meters. Turn left. Because look, we have to brake hard anyway. So I don't understand why they give us all this build up. But it's considered easy. So all we gotta do is hit the jump target. So essentially we got a hill climb going on. Come on, hold it, let's do it. All right, here we go guys, get ready. We got a big one. Woo! What do we need? 60 meters. Oh, we got that no problem, dude. Oh, God. Get wrecked, baby. God, she handled that no problem. A little bit of money there. How about the fans? The fans like that stuff, don't they? Oh, yeah. Fans love that. Fans love bucket list stuff. All right. So that was like we got three bucket lists in one uh, in one event, I think there's more bucket lists. I think all these right here, these are all bucket lists. Those little octag or pentagonal or hexagonal. Those are six sides. Hexagonal shaped things. Got another PR starting out over here. Let's go do it right now. We got to get those fans, baby, in whatever way we can manage. Oh, wait. Got to hit that board. Oh, that's a fast travel board. I'll take it. I'm just, I'm staying off road. This is where this thing is meant to be. Oh God. How is it still going? I'm not going to ask questions. Oh, there it is. You hear the turbo flutter? Oh, it's a, a speed camera. Well, we're not going to, well. We're gonna have to try and hit it. This will slow us down. Sorry, mate. Whip that e brake. Come on, baby. <coughs> oh, it's murder. 200 kph. I'm going to redo that. I want to go on this inside. This thing does grip quite well. You 230. We just got it. How was that? Seeing stars we got after it. That stunt boss. No. Whoa. Well, here's three of them. Oh, wow. You get good fans for that. We're almost at our next expansion. There's a ton of stuff for us to do, guys. Let's just keep going. Oh, water! Is this guy still with me? Is that the Quattro rolling around with me? This is Speed Trap. I'm not going fast enough. That was pathetic. So let's go down here and get some speed. We actually had... What, what do you want? I got 36,000. Probably because it's a tricky speed trap. Whoa, look at these guys! Groovy monsters everywhere! Hold on, let's remark that. And let's hit it up, let's go. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads, baby. Oh my god, that rally. This thing can hang on! Whoa, 233! 
How was that? Did it I think I did that. Yes. Boss, I'm giving that three Woo! stars out of three. Take it easy. Oh man, got a few extra fans. How we doing? We're almost there. I'd say if we go do this one, we'll have enough for another we'll festival expansion. When it is safe to do so. Let's go see what this is. Recalculating route. I'm just gonna hit the jump. Right. Whatever. It oh, it's a it's a danger zone. We've already done this one with the uh, with the Holden. My mate's still with me, so we're gonna do this hill climb. Just like we did with the Holden to get the speed up. Alright, once we get to the bottom here. Whip a ship bird. You ready, bro? Let's go! When that turbo kicks in. You're gonna just need to do with this kind of car. This is its home territory. Just gotta ease off the accelerator a bit when you wanna make a quick turn. Here we go! Boost! Whoa! Two! Whoa! Oh, just shy of 200. That's not the end of it. Every time you score more than three stars, you earn stun points. What did I get? So keep pushing it further, even after. Oh, what is it? Stars. What was the three? What's the three star mark? We have enough. It doesn't matter. We have enough. All right. Well, that could have. I can go expand. Hey, Dan. Where am I supposed to put all these fans of yours? We're going to need another festival expansion. Yeah, we are. My question is, does this one get an expansion? Can it go to level 5? It can. But here's the other question I have. Should I expand level 2, you know, to get this going? I think what I want to do is... Can I fast travel? I should be able to pay to fast travel. I have fast travel boards, so I should be able to do it. It's cheap. Let's get it. All right, Byron Bay. We haven't expanded this thing in ages. This is our first expansion, our first festival, and it needs an expansion. Got to show Byron Bay some love. We've been really taking a lot of time in the outback. We've doubled our frontage, branding, and signage, <clears throat> and look, let me worry about the boring stuff. You just remember to wave hello when you pass by. Copy that. Now, let's see what kind of cars we can get. I mean, that was... That RS 200 is always a good time, but you know the rules. Every new festival upgrade, we gotta get a new car. <clears throat> but, oh, here we go. These are what's on special right now. Are you serious? The Isetta 300. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a funny race, guys? What do you think? The Super Minis. Old Chevy Corvette from the 50s. That would be something pretty fun, if I'm honest. But let's be real here. How hilarious would this thing be to drive? Cult classics, these are. They're pretty cheap. <clears throat> Maybe I should do that for my next one. I think it's all relevant to the kind of car you're driving. But I could be wrong. No, it isn't. No. I don't, I don't think I... No. <clears throat> I don't think I want to do that. What do we got? We do have a new barn find to uh, activate. There she is. Let's claim her. I could also My roll. My dad had one of these. Never took it off-road, never got it dirty, never drove it much faster than 50. That's probably why I take after my mum. I love it. It's a nice, it's nice white too. It looks good. Well, there she is. Not the fastest thing in the world, but this Ferrari Dino we could represent. Rare classics. Take that downtown. Danger Signs 416. <coughs> All right. We're going to have to go pick a new car and traverse the area. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description and we'll play at the end card of this video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Going on a